Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Najah bint Mokhtar. My metric number is 1014. So today I will explain about a special journal. Okay, what is special journal? Special journal are specialized list of financial transaction records which called journal entries. The types of special journal that a business uses are determined by the nature of the business. Special journal are designed as a simple way to record the most frequently occurring transaction. There are four types of special journal such as purchase journal, sales journal, written in word journal, and written out words journal. Furthermore, I will explain the function and features of special journal, which is purchase journal. A purchase journal is a particular general function to register the gradual purchase of goods. The purchase journal will record the purchase transaction of goods. Features Any purchase transaction must have two parties, which is a seller and buyer. Second, credit purchase. Credit purchase is a situation when the goods are bought with a promise uh, to pay the amount at a later date. Uh, third, invoice. The seller issues an invoice to the purchaser which uh, contains all the necessary details like price, quantity, date, detail of the supplier and details of the buyer. It is issued along with the goods and the purchaser matches the goods received with the invoice. When any department requires any goods or materials, it will notify it to the purchase uh, department. The purchase department will first check its stock and issue the goods uh, to the department. If the goods are not available in the stock, then the purchase department will identify the right supplier and place the order for the required goods after negotiating the Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Aisyah Tosna binti Muhammad. I can explain about function and features of sale journal. Uh, function sale journal. A sale journal is a type of journal used to record credit sale transaction of the company and it's used for maintenance and tracking the account receivable and inventory account. It is the principal book of credit sale transaction and the information recorded in its depend on the natural and recommend of each business. Uh, next, I will explain about features uh, the business and customer agree for the payment to be paid at the future date. Uh, invoice is a source document sent to the customer to record sale on credit. So example say general. Okay, you give transaction below here if you look at the example for say journal there are four column sometimes five column the first one date the second one account debited third one teams and the last one account receivable debit credit sale sometimes you can write down uh, total okay look at the example third january uh, sold mission dose on account to Seri Enterprise RM2500 with teams to slash 10 and slash 30. So the first thing you have record the date transaction and number two you have to record account debated and we must uh, know that the account debated represent for account receivable. So you just write down uh, Seri Enterprise with terms to slash 10 and record the total uh, this transaction uh, 10,500 uh, debit account receivable and credit sale and the last one we have to close Hello everyone, my name is Norma Biaventurizan and my metric number is 1046 Today I want to explain about written in word journal The first one is the function of written in word journal Written in words journal is used to record amount of goods written by the debtor. The seller will send debit note to the debtors when goods written by them. And the seller will enter details from debit note in his 
Next is the features of returns in work journal. Return in work journal reduce the business total accounts receivable. For business, return in work decrease the revenue and for the customer, it decrease the receivables. This is the example of return in work journal. In return in work journal, it has the details, note number, folio, Second is written outward journals. Written outward journals is used to record amount of goods written to the creditors. The purchaser will receive debit note when goods return to the creditors. And the purchaser will enter details from debit note in his return. Next is the features of written outward journal. Goods written will affect the company's total purchase or account payable. Return outward reduces the total business payable for suppliers and business expenses. This is the example of return outward journal. In return outward journal, it has the details, not number. Uh, thank you. I will continue this presentation with a uh, cash receipt journal. Uh, my name is Nuna Suha and my metric number is 1039. Um, cash Receipt Journal The Cash Receipt Journal is the type of accounting journal that only used to record all cash receipts during an accounting period and works on the golden rule of accounting. Uh, debit what comes in and credit what costs. Uh, the function of Cash Receipt Journal is used to record all transactions that result in the receipt of cash. Um, this includes receipts from customers, debtors and other. After that, you can see the example of cash receipt. Um, next, I will tell you about the function of each column. Uh, column date. The date on which the cash is received is entered in the date column. And receipt note, the number of receipt register. Details, this is the account name that is created due to the receipt of cash in the books of accounts. Cash, the amount of cash received is entered in this column bank the amount of bank, the amount of cash that received through check enter in this column after that discount allowed the total amount of discount allowed from sellers to buyers is entered in this column um, account receivable when a credit customer or buyer makes the payment this account is credited in the accounts receivable ledger um, Column sales. This column records cash sales. Every time a cash sale is made to a customer, the amount received is entered in this particular column. And last but not least, other accounts. This column is used to record the receipt of cash from other sources, including cash for interest, rent, the sale of fixed asset, and etc. So I will pass uh, next presentation to the next presenter. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ain Alia Bete Ubaka. Uh, my matrix number is 1032. Now I will talk and explain about a cash payment journal. A cash payment journal is used to record transactions that are paid in the form of cash. A cash payment can include paying a creditor of commission fee, making an interest payment or withdrawing cash. If any payment is made using cash, it is recorded in the cash payment. Now I will explain about the features of Cash Payments Journal. The first column in the Cash Payments Journal is the date, the date on which the transaction occurred. Number two is Account Debited, the name of the party that was paid cash. Number three is Folio, the cash ledger account. Number four is Cash, the amount of cash paid. Number five is Discount, any discount received in the form of cash. Number six, purchase. Purchase made in cash. Number seven is accounts payable. Payments made in cash towards accounts payable balance. The last one is sundry. Used for all other accounts not listed in one of the... Assalamualaikum, my name is Siti Dura Aisha Binti Hamdan and my matrix number is 1033 and I'll be sharing about general journal. 
General Journal is a chronological accounting record of a company's financial transaction. The function is to assist in the reconciliation of accounts and to assist with producing financial statement. It is also to record the following that do not belong in any special journal such as purchase, sales, cash receipts, and cash payment journal. Next is the features. Every page in item features dividing column for dates, account name, or particular, as well as the debit and credit records. You can look at the example of general journal formats that I've provided in this slide. Also, here are the transactions that are included in general journal. The first one is sales, or purchase of non-current asset on credit. Second one is adjustment. The third one is withdrawals of inventory for owners own use. Next is we got transfers, opening entries, and lastly, correcting of errors. I hope you guys will get something from the slide that me and my friend have shared. That's all from me. Thank you for your time. Have a great day ahead guys.